Palmer standing by. And uh, Jim, when you look back at Kevin Gosman, he had two 11 pitch innings, the first and the third. What happened when he gave up all those runs in that one particular inning? Well, I think Rick Dempsey talked about, uh, you know, they're a young ball club when you you talk about the Twins, and they're also, um, you know, second time through the lineup. Uh, they're fastball hitters. They, you know, he had a good fastball velocity, command. Well, you know, again, he had some situations where, again, he's much better uh, away to, to lefties. He tried to come in, came in at 97, 99. They either fouled him off or he missed. He got back to where when you have a lead, a lot of times you pitch to the scoreboard. He ended up uh, throwing balls in the middle of the plate. You know, Vargas had some great at bats. Kepler you know, drove in a run. Uh, you know, Dozier hit the triple on a fastball that he tried to hit the corner. It was in the outside middle. He hit it right over the first base bag. So, again, you got to give uh, the Twins a lot of credit. But, you know, I mean, what? We had the the uh, 11 uh, the four game or the nine to one lead that Kevin had they got him eight runs in Kansas City so there's been like three games where normally he wins those games but again I think a lot of times the game speeds up for certain people and I think he just uh, maybe got ahead of himself and because he had great stuff but the command was a little bit waning as as we got into the middle innings. Jimmy, normally a strong defensive team. Um, what do you see is going on with this defense now? Uh, we've seen them make good plays in the past, but all of a sudden now in the middle of the worst time of an inning, they managed to give a couple of plays away. Well, you know, we saw it last night when uh, Trey Mancini uh, thought he could get bucks, and we saw it tonight how what kind of t speed he had. But you know, if you're if if you're a young player, uh, you'll try to listen to the um, to the scouting report. So he 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 do they don't get the you know the easy out at first last night. Uh, today, the throw that Manny was a little bit up the line off his glove. He also uh, couldn't catch the ball off the bat of Grossman, um, and you know, and then. Let's face it, you got J.J. Hardy who's won three gold gloves on the disabled list. He's got the broken wrist. And even at 34, he's still playing well the, the, the defense, even though maybe the bat slowed down a little bit. And then don't forget, uh, everybody underrates the defense of Chris Davis at first base. And again, you missed him. You saw, you know, we saw that in... Uh, uh, in Milwaukee uh, where they had the, the rundown on Wednesday night. We saw it here and it's nothing against Trey Mancini. His bat's going to be in the lineup but again uh, you know you lose two key defensive players and then let's not forget the uh, the bottom of the eighth inning where they had two runs. Tejada looked like he should have caught that ball. You know Hardy would have caught it. He, they would have only been maybe one and he would have been more in the ball game. So again the breakdown is partially because guys are hurt and the other thing is you have some inexperience and I think this club, they're, they're panicking uh, because I, uh, they don't like to lose, and they're losing. Well, Jim, we always appreciate your comments and look forward to chatting with you tomorrow afternoon when the Orioles play the Twins in the third game of the series, which actually starts at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Our thanks to baseball.